Hello all, this is a quick demo of the uh, GCAS2 handbox for uh, AutoStar 2 controlled telescopes. It uh, is a iOS application, Android application, and uses a dedicated Wi-Fi access point uh, with a direct serial link into the handbox port of the uh, GPS uh, style scope. And so what we have here is the icon to launch. We launch the icon. We've already connected in the settings to the correct access point. And so we're going to do a, a connect here. And then you get its attention. Hit mode. And now we are now the handbox of the telescope. So we can scroll around here. You know, we can do stuff like, let's see, glossary. Uh, and so basically things spool out that way now it looks just like your handbox would or at least that's the goal of this application okay and we get some utilities brightness adjust you can adjust it for uh, Okay. Now, when the uh, when the telescope puts the screen in dim mode, uh, what this will do is put up a, a message saying that uh, dim by auto star, and you can press uh, press it to override it. Okay, we'll turn up the brightness a little bit more. Drop out of mode, and let's see object event. Let's go back to object. Okay, solar system. Mercury, Venus, Mars, Jupiter. Calculating its position, magnitude, size, more calculations, transit time, calculating, sets, mass, diameter, moons. Then it gives you the whole scroll out of everything it knows about Jupiter. Big long scrolling list. Okay, and you can get down in here into uh, long presses. Okay, and right now this, the scope is stopped, so you can see the RA tick by second by second. Alt azimuth, location, latitude, longitude, time, alarms, battery level. We can get out of here, get out of here, get out of here. Let's see, glossary, utilities, setup. Now, alignments, date. Let's set the date. Uh, what's today's date? Uh, 23rd of February, March, April, March. And 2013. Okay, set the time. It's roughly 11.20 a.m. Eastern Daylight Time. 11.20 a.m. Eastern Daylight Time. Daylight Savings, yes. Now that's going to skew the time because I already accounted for it someplace else. GPC Offset. Uh, let's see. 93 05 Okay Telescope type Mount Polar Telescope model 8 inch Target Sight blah blah it goes on and on so that's pretty much uh, the application shown on an iOS uh, iPhone 4 works on iPads works on iPhone 5s works on 3 GS's um, now I'm going to switch uh, videos and move in the Android tablet but I have to my camera doesn't let me uh, zoom automatically 
uh, when I'm doing a video, so I've got to uh, stop this video and pick up on the uh, next one. Thank you very much. I'll be back in a couple seconds. Okay, picking up where we left off, this is now the application running on a Nexus 7 Android tablet, uh, 4.1.2. And so it's it's valid all the way from 2.2.1 to 4.1x. Uh, it's a very relatively simple application, so it doesn't require a lot out of Android itself. And we've got event, guided tour, glossary, we can drop down here, we can look at the accretion disk again. And so basically all the functionality that you had seen in the iOS application is available here. And let's see, Jupiter, solar system. Pick a different planet this time. Oh, I know, yeah. Mercury. Let's pick Mercury. the long presses which are supported again you can see the RA tick off and that's pretty much it from a demo standpoint uh, thanks everybody I'll talk to you later